There is a lot of misinformation out there about people, about corporate morals and ethics, not only in the financial sector, which is where I work, but in our society as a whole. So I've decided to share with you my views on the world that had served me well. Same as the structure that holds the house together, I've decided to put these same principles all together. I call these Yogo's principles. I trust that any person that still has a moral compass, aligned with any basic human principles, will find a positive word based on grounded common sense. What I can tell you is that it doesn't matter what your ethnicity is, age, gender or religion, it doesn't matter if you are alone or surrounded with quality people. It doesn't matter if you are poor or wealthy. I'm telling you that you can change your circumstances for the better. I believe that if you humble yourself to what you don't know, be willing to keep an open mind, if you align yourself with these same principles, you will live your best life, no matter who you are or where you are in life. I believe that a man must learn to control emotions and actions in both personal and business life. A man must treat and cultivate his mind to the highest standards, without outside interference. A man must practice meditation to remain positive. Negativity is a problem. Focusing on negativity never yields a good result. It is a downward spiral. Your brain works better when you are positive. A man must be humble about what he doesn't know, accepting his weaknesses and striving to improve not by words, but by actions. What you don't know is much more important than what you think you know. A man must command respect from others by being an objective, independent thinker, but also by showing acceptance of one's differences. A man will never allow being disrespected. No one Absolutely no one has the right to disrespect you. I disapprove any sort of violence, both physical and psychological, within a family or any other relationship, like friendships or the workplace. But that doesn't mean one doesn't fight back. Quite the contrary, you do fight back. It means that no one has a right to harm you for their pleasure. If they do, a man must deal with it on the spot, not after. A man must treat his body properly with strict, rigorous exercise, quality food and sufficient rest. A man must have a strict work regimen and be consistent. Men and women must reserve the right to protect the sanctity of their bodies and make their own decisions about medical care and procedures without any outside marketplace pressures. Men must surround themselves with quality people to the highest standards so they can improve and also contribute to the group. You will do better when you are around people that are better than you. A man must increase his quality relationships by also bringing in quality relationships to the same group. It is a disservice to anyone if one doesn't share the expertise of someone else they know that does know how to solve the problem at hand. Regular weekly meetings with quality men aligned with common goals of improvement of the group improve the quality of decisions of the group and individual. The group benefits as a whole as one's strengths are another one's weaknesses. Different perspectives and experiences from different people bring in strengths and weaknesses from all, improving the likelihood of a sounder outcome. It is not group thinking, it is individual objective thinking with group feedback from like-minded people. You make up your mind with the help of valuable qualified feedback to improve strengths and help defend your weaknesses. I only conduct business with my partners as trust is my main pillar and I intend to keep it that way. A man must strive to increase his wealth, there is no glory or purpose of being poor. Wealth helps society move forward. Poverty brings everything down. What a man provides to society is a byproduct of one's interests, the market's interests and one's skill. It needs to be something society needs, you enjoy it and you are good at it. For this to happen, a man must strive to be known in a society. Business is done by relationships. If people don't know you, how are they going to do business with you? Networking is key to survival and prosperity. Men must master their skills and strive to keep improving. A great engineer solves more problems than a less focused one. 
A man must improve his knowledge of the world, his understanding on how the world works and his skills, so he can be a better provider to our society. A man must understand the power of specialization in the marketplace. Generalists serve no purpose. Jack of all trades, master of none. A man must educate himself by reading and questioning his own beliefs. He must ask, is this true? Why? How are you basing your decision? Men must educate themselves by learning about different cultures and interactions. Social IQ improves when one meets different cultures and deals with different people. When you go back home, you start seeing things differently as you bring in the experience of interacting with different cultures. Men must accept different points of view without letting their egos get in the way. Just because someone doesn't agree with you, it doesn't mean they are attacking you, it means they disagree. A point of view is not 0-100%, it's not a zero-sum game, it's something in between. Given one experience in dealing with similar circumstances, if that person usually gets successful results, it means that person taking a step in similar circumstances, the most likely outcome is based on what he usually obtains. He is more qualified in his assessment. Same for failure as well. Men must only spend their time in a way that is good and empowering to themselves and others. How are you going to get to where you want to go if you keep spending your time on meaningless and related tasks? Men must make a point of not allowing distractions while working. Focusing is key. Men must always be on time for meetings and respect others' time. Anyone that doesn't respect your time is not worth your time. Men must make time for both others and themselves. Different personalities have different balances when dealing with people. Some focus so much on helping others, they stop taking care of themselves. How are you going to help others if you are sick? Men must work on their strengths and weaknesses, both, not just one. Understanding that strengths come with weaknesses, one is connected to the other. By accepting this, one becomes more powerful. This is the path to improvement. Intelligent men know this well. How are you going to improve something if you think you don't have anything to improve? Men must strive to have consistent habits, learning and implementing good ones. Bad ones can break any human with the most potential. A man must have a passion for what he's doing or his work will be cut short due to a lack of follow through. A man must focus on solving challenges that are in his path and be consistent until the problem is solved. Starting endeavors and quitting halfway through serves no purpose. In the end, when looking back at one's life, it will be a pile of unfinished buildings. A whole life spent accomplishing nothing. Finish the degree. Complete the project. Each day, I dedicate myself from my perception to doing the work that can have the greatest possible positive impact on the world with my skill set. Even knowing that I might fail, I say this because what I now know is that the common talks about doing A, B and C equals becoming successful, it's not true. History doesn't repeat itself, but it rhymes. Two similar people in different countries and in different times doing the exact same strategy doesn't mean they will both be successful. The world has variability built into it that might block you or help you. A better approach is assigning a weight to each step. It is step A times the probability you have given your current resources and situation to achieve it. Same for step B and step C. That will equal your success. I keep an open mind to improve where I see weaknesses, but at the same time, I make a point to also improve my strengths, as these help in the marketplace. What I've learned is that you can't control the world's outcome, there is just too much variability. But you can control yourself, and your effort and your consistency. When you decide what you want, and become self-aware of your strengths and your weaknesses, you are by default eliminating variability from yourself. You become a constant, 
So it is now about doing the work on a consistent basis until you achieve each step. These are my guiding principles. This is why I'm inviting you to join us.